is a uh, Dodge Challenger 2013. Yeah, 2013 3.6, changing the oil pressure sending unit. I just watched a video on YouTube to see if there's any helpful tips or anything. I do that a lot when I go to work on cars. I am a mechanic, but I still look up YouTube sometimes because guys get pretty creative on there with ways to work around things. And sometimes they come up with workarounds that just don't make much sense. Uh, the one I saw was pulling the wiper cow and wipers and all that stuff. And then you have to pull a bunch of stuff on the back of the motor back there and then try to sneak stuff up and through there to get to it. And when it comes to fighting things like that and fighting around and trying to get deep up into things, you're more likely to make a bad mistake. So anyways, the point is I got to the sensor in about 15 minutes. Um, having a little electric impact gun does make the job go a lot faster, but it's pretty easy. So you have these two braces on the side that mount to the bolts on the upper intake that one and that one you take the two 10 millimeter nuts off you don't have to do anything else and then this bracket has two 10 millimeter bolts or nuts on it and you take those two nuts off and down there there's a uh, wire that you have to pull off the end of a bolt on this bolt here it clips on here you pull that off 13 millimeter take that bolt out that bracket here comes loose off to the side you pull it to the side and you unbolt the intake manifold bolts one two three four get those out you can move the intake manifold to the side to get the studs out of these holes and it comes off now obviously I pulled the engine cover off first it just pulls up and off I pulled the intake tube off the throttle body it had eight millimeter bolts on the clamps those came right off real easy intake tube came to the side you just have to unplug your temperature sensor connector out of the intake tube it comes to the side when you're doing the intake obviously you unplug the connectors on it and the hoses where they connect then this lower intake is super easy you uh, don't have to disconnect the fuel system you don't have to disconnect the fuel line what you have to do is disconnect the coils because these wires are plugged in to the injectors and can stay with this fuel rails you pull these plastic clips here wire retainer clips off the valve cover so the wire can move up. All you do is pull coil connectors and the little wire clips. This has a couple clips on this side too for the uh, wire. This one broke. This one still good. You do that. Then I have just a bungee cord up here. Just kind of Wrap, lightly wrap around the wiper arm and hold the intake out of the way. And then I'll wipe this off and more we'll pressure sensors right there. Literally about 15 minutes. I've seen guys do all kinds of stuff to try to work around pulling the intake and it takes probably a couple hours. And then you're fighting things and you may not be able to get the sensor threaded in well because you're trying to fight through things to get to it. Just pull the intake, it's very easy.